Okay, we're currently on the Alum Creek Trail. We'll be hooking a right here, which will take us downtown. Now you wanna switch into a lower gear because this is a nice little hill. And on your left, this happens to be I-670, which is what this current trail is named after. But you can hear the sights and sounds. This here is Leonard Avenue. We'll be crossing the street and hooking a left.
Now this building coming up on the left, this is the old Charles P. Wiley building, which uh, today is uh, converted to Ohio State Medical Center. They since added a fence on the right side, you should be able to see. That is something that's fairly new. And if you look real close, I don't think the camera angle is going to let you see it, but uh, the far end of the building, they have bushes that spell out OSU. things you're going to notice along this ride is that there is a lot of trash along the fence on the right side. You know, you would think about uh, how you could get that cleaned up because uh, next year this trail will become part of the Ohio to Erie Trail once uh, Allen Creek is finished. Everybody will be coming through here using this to get to downtown. So, one of my thoughts was that just like you have a adopt the highway, you create a adopt a bikeway. And uh, you have the scouts or whoever, companies. This happens to be Joyce Avenue. Um, and come in and keep this clean. It's very obvious as you ride down through here, especially coming up, that there's just a ton of trash. And it's not something that I personally would like uh, people riding through this great city to see. So in the comments section below, put down your thoughts on how we can deal with this. Now on the left side, this all continues to be Leonard Avenue, and we will follow it all the way up to uh, uh, Cleveland, which today that will be our stopping point. As you can see, it's a fairly easy ride. A little bit of hills when you first start out. Um, this tends to go downhill a little bit, this direction anyway. So it uh, makes it a little bit easier. You notice coming up here, there's a end bikeway sign, but uh, it continues to go on. It's the remnants of the construction you're gonna see in a couple of minutes. Uh, the I-71 north and south construction that took place and uh, here's a new section of the path. Now if you turn right, you actually can follow a couple other bike trails. We're not going to do that today, but just an alternative. I personally don't like heading up that way, so I usually don't do it. This happens to be St. Clair Avenue. This 
next section coming up, uh, you'll notice they really need to clean the pathway off. They, uh, it's just kind of been sitting, there's stones and all sorts of leftover construction stuff through here. But it uh, hasn't been done yet. This has just recently been opened, although I really wouldn't consider this open yet. This is the new bridge work that took place. Left. Still a little work going on as you can see up ahead. But they're getting close to done, which is a good thing. Now on the right side coming up, once we go around the bend, this used to be the Fort Hayes Career Center, the part of the Columbus school system. Another recent addition on the left side, which you should be able to see the sign, is the ability to get on 670 West from here. Now, if you hook a left up here at the traffic light, it'll take you to uh, Columbus State Community College. And uh, the building straight in front of us used to be part of the Wonder Bread before it uh, went through the bankruptcy with Hostess and all that. Anyway, this concludes today's ride. This is Cleveland Avenue straight in front of us. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Now don't forget to subscribe.